Hey everyone, if you are new to this channel, my name is Sahil Gugna and I'm your average guide. On this channel, we invite different industry professionals and we are trying to explore different industries here in Canada. The aim of this channel is to build a community so that the experts of the community can guide you to land your dream job in Canada. Last week, I posted a story over Instagram and asked you guys, which industry would you like me to explore? And you asked for the mechanical. So in this video, we are going to discuss all about the mechanical industry and how to get a good internship. So without any delay, let's get started. Hi Shekhar, first of all, thanks a lot for joining the call today. Yes, I, it's great to be back on your channel, sharing my experience. Thank you. So just to refresh our audience that Shekhar has already given one interview in which he has shared his journey as a research-based student in McMaster University. And today he is going to share his internship experience and his experience with the industry because now he is quite experienced. So today we'll try to explore his that part of journey. So Shekhar, before we uh, continue our questions, so can you please just refresh the audience with your introduction. Yes, I'll. So to quickly refresh your audience, so I'm Shekhar and I'm pursuing Masters of Applied Sciences in Mechanical Engineering at McMaster University, uh, where I've completed my first year. So Masters of Applied Sciences is a research-based master's, where along with few courses, you have to pursue research and write a thesis on it. So my research is based on additive manufacturing, which is popularly known as 3D printing. And Shikha, one thing I'm constantly asked by mechanical graduates is related to the job opportunities in Canada. So are there enough jobs here in Canada? So Sahil, uh, opportunities or scope, you say, is something which cannot be defined. So it depends on someone's individual profile and their interest. And the three key factors, uh, which I would like to suggest to your audience is connections, research and patience. So research is not uh, academic research, what I do, but it's like looking out for people and companies which are of your interest and which is associated with your experience. So the best platform to connect with people is LinkedIn and just connect. It's just a one click to connect with any person. And other than that, like if you are studying, if you're a student, then the people like career advisors in your universities and college, they are the best people who can make you connect with your concerned interest people. So I know like I can totally understand that people don't reply instantly or like quickly. So you have to keep trying and following up with people, try to have good conversations seek their guidance and eventually ask for opportunities. And Chika, I'm particularly interested in how did you find your internship? So did recruiters approach you or like you applied through in LinkedIn or like what was your journey for the applying this job? So Sahil, it's a kind of a tricky and a really wonderful story for me. So the company which I was looking for, so the company was looking for a full-time employee, which has like the profile and it was an exact match of my interest as well as my experience in master's so far. So I made connections on LinkedIn with the people of the company and shared my resume. They seemed to be quite impressed with that and they directly asked me for an online interview. So at first I had no idea that uh, are they looking for an intern or a full-time employee because i'm still studying right now i'm not yet graduated so like but i just thought of appearing for it and i thought like i'll tell my situation to them so in my interview i they asked about what was my past experience so i quickly ran through the resume and i showed them like i explained them my complete master's research till now so after that i had a second round of interview in which I again did the same thing what I did in my first round and they were pretty impressed by that and they thought of like converting this full-time opportunity into an internship so yeah this this is my story and Shekhar you brought a very important point that you have to ask for the opportunities like for the viewers who don't know like McMaster University is one of the top universities the most tedious universities here in Canada and being a student of McMaster, still you have to go out and go out on LinkedIn and ask the people about the right opportunity. So it's not like that if you are from the top university, the opportunities or the jobs, they get served to you in the plate, right? You stepped out of your comfort zone and you asked for the right, right position. So since you went through the interview, so what was your experience? Like what exactly do the companies look in the graduates who are applying for the internship? 
or are there any technical skills they are particularly focused on so whenever uh, you are going to apply for a uh, like for a job so check the job qualifications requirements and the job responsibilities of the postings read them carefully and check whether your interests are matching with the requirements and the qualifications even if it's a 50% match just apply for it and most probably you can get a call uh, now you must have heard this uh, saying that uh, like people don't hire for skills you are hired for your attitude and you can always be uh, taught skills so if you justify that the attitude to learn then the other 50% of the job requirements you will like for that you will definitely get hired so if you are applying take note of the requirements what are the requirements for that particular job and if you don't have them right now so try to learn them and improve improvise on them uh, bring your expertise in that while pursuing like for a student so uh, like try to uh, learn the courses through online courses or pursuing academic courses improve your skills your technical skills whatever that job says and then apply for them so this is kind of my strategy or my suggestion and shekhar when we apply for the internship and especially for the mechanical graduates so how many number of interviews they can expect and what's the breakdown so are the all interviews the technical ones or they discuss on your projects or your current current projects in the university or your past work experience so what's the proper breakdown for the interviews now it depends on companies to companies so usually what you have is like when you apply and uh, you will get a phone call interview where they will verify your details and then if that's just a kind of just to check whether that candidate is in really or not then you will have a second round of interview which is a technical interview where they will ask technical questions and there they'll ask you about your uh, past experience work experience what skills you have and how much knowledge you have and then finally you will have a hr interview or kind of a personality interview in which you, uh, there will be situational questions uh, you will be asked and you have to answer accordingly and at least your experience it's very assuring for the mechanical graduates that there are jobs and they can, if they are you know focused enough to find one they will definitely get one and uh, shekhar if if we talk about the right time to apply for internship is there any right time so if we talk about your internship so you applied after your first year right so was it in in your course curriculum or it was your own choice like how did you know like after one year you were ready to apply for the internship uh, sahil it uh, mostly depends on your program uh, which you choose and also on the internship postings uh, in what a uh, year of time time of year that posting will be so mostly they are in summer because students have break from their regular academic studies but there are also postings in fall so fall is like from september to december or in winter that is like from uh, january to april so uh, if you are a student then like there will be some uh, internship or co-op posting web portals of universities or colleges there where you can directly apply otherwise like you can apply on companies websites and now there is a difference in both of them so whenever you apply through university so it directly goes uh, through the hr and they review your resume or whatever documents you send whereas through companies like it goes through a different criteria that is a, a kind of it is software it is uh, checked by software first and then uh, through some checks within the software and then it goes to the hr so it depends on which posting you apply so yeah this is my experience of applying to the different internships and shekhar if we talk about the any province so is there any province that can be considered the as the hub for the jobs for the mechanical so yes so if you see companies are focused on particular sector in general so if you talk about the quebec so uh, there are mostly the aerospace companies in there if you talk about british columbia there are energy and marine companies alberta is well known for oil and gas whereas in southern ontario so we have manufacturing and automotive companies but it it does it does not care like uh, that you just focus on one province and apply there 
you can apply for any job or any posting just see like whether you get a return call from them and like appear for the interview and cheka you again brought forward a very important point that you have to choose the province according to your interest right and if if i talk about you you were very clear from the beginning that you are interested in additive manufacturing so then there are students who don't have any industry experience from india they are joining their masters directly after the bachelor's degree and uh, they are doing the course based masters like for you it's thesis based masters so you have already gone through that pain of choosing your you know uh, specialization so what would you suggest to them how they can uh, find their interest and how they can find like this is the right direction in which they want to head their career so when you're studying so you like you are interested in something it's not like you are going just randomly and and even if you do that so when you are studying you try to find your interest like in which in which thing i'm interested so in mechanical engineering there are three major areas what you say that is like manufacturing there is thermal fluid sciences and then there is the structural and the mechanics part so they these are the core regions where you like you think that i want to pursue my career in this so you have to find interest in one of them then after that you check like which companies are you interested in in order to apply in that company do a research to a extensive research on that check their postings uh, try to apply on their web portals and connect with people and when you connect with people if possible ask for an online or an in person meeting to better make them know about you so i guess this is the possible way in which if you're not if you're not known to your interest you can follow this uh, way to apply for an internship or a job and check out one last question before we end our conversation and it's definitely about the salary so i i'm particularly interested are the mechanical interns well paid here in canada so what can they expect when they are uh, in terms of their stipend so it depends on the companies but you can always negotiate your salary and the fact that if you are valuable to them they can pay you as good as a full time uh, job employee so because mostly of what i have seen here mostly interns are given full time offers when they graduate and if and they find you fit for them so i cannot like give some numbers that this is the salary but yeah if if you get one internship which you do really well and you are really valuable to the company they'll give you a good pay i guess that's it for today's talk shaker thanks a lot for sparing your time and sharing your valuable experience uh, it's a pleasure talking with you sai thank you shaker so guys this was our today's video about mechanical industry in canada and how to land a good internship i hope you have really liked the video and please make sure to subscribe the channel i would like you to go in the comment section below and tell me which more questions you would like me to ask from the mechanical professionals here in canada this is a two way process guys I am from the software industry so I cannot help you more than this because my knowledge about the mechanical industry is limited. You have to help me. You have to put your questions down in the comment section so that I can bring up the mechanical graduates or the mechanical professionals from the industry and ask them your questions. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe.